Well, all week long, we're traveling across the state to hear from voters on what's most important to them this election cycle. WFSB is partnering with CT Insider, all part of our CT campaign conversations. And right now, Chief Political Reporter Susan Raff is live at Fire by the Forge, love that restaurant, right in the capital city. Susan. You have good taste, Kara. It is a very good restaurant. You know, this has really been an interesting week. We have been at Southington, Coventry, and now in Hartford. And some of the same issues that we keep hearing, however, there are some different ones in this community. And we wanted to have a more in-depth conversation with Dan Har from CT Insider. And one of the things that people may or may not know is that Hartford is predominantly Democratic. I think there are some 32,000 Democrats in this city compared to maybe 3,000 registered Republicans. Do you think that uh, all those Democrats are going to embrace Kamala Harris? Did you hear that today? Quite the opposite. I would, I, I would, I would be prepared to say that uh, Donald Trump will, will win this election if what I saw in one small few hours is writ large in Detroit, Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia, in those cities. Kamala Harris is absolutely not getting the level of enthusiasm from the person out on the street. From community leaders, yes. From the person out on the street, absolutely no way. Why do you think that is? I know when Kamala Harris was chosen as the presidential nominee, um, a lot of people here felt they didn't know her, they didn't know a lot about her, and felt that they needed to know more. The voters that I spoke to uh, still will embrace her and vote for her, but there are some who feel that they simply don't know enough and they're not too happy with the conditions that they're living in in some of these inner cities. That's exactly right. There are three reasons. That's one. They're fed up. Timing is everything and her timing is bad. Coming after COVID, when, when things are quote unquote normalized, they're not normalized in these communities. The second thing is there's simply lack of information. I spoke with someone who thinks there should be more government supports for people in the, in the community, but who's she voting for? I don't know. One of the things that I learned, Michael Massey, who's a Republican candidate running against Rosa DeLauro, feels that Democrats have failed in our inner cities. That some of the things that are very key and important to them, safety and drugs and crime are still here. And I think that they feel neglected also with education. I'll be blunt, today, until today, I thought that Michael Massey was a freak, an outlier. He's not. He's absolutely not. And I don't think Kamala Harris can win this election if what I saw today occurs widespread. Okay, thank you. Dan Har, we'll be back at 515. We have partnered up with CT Insider Dan Har all week, and we're going to be doing a lot more at 5 o'clock on the issues and what's important to voters. So please stick around. Also, after our live shot at 5 o'clock, we're going to have somewhat of a town hall meeting here at Fire by Forge to get a better understanding of what's important to voters. So stick around. Come on down. Yeah. <laughs> we are live in Hartford. Susan Rapp, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Back to you.